The computer is showing where we are in the universe. Why is that important? How could we be anywhere else? It's giving our position. I don't understand all that data stuff. I don't believe in it. Don't be so old-fashioned. So what's the computer saying then? On this planet, there's 33 kinds 33 of rock. 33 kinds? Who's gonna collect that many? We are, of course. Why? Our dog Robbie can find the place and Ruhr can pick them up. Uh -huh. I don't understand why not. Their duty is to tidy the ship. But it's already tidy. Yes, because they do their job well. They work jolly hard. Rubbish. We'll correct the rocks. After we watch Tommy can BB, okay? Okay. At least we'll agree on that subject. It's better than nothing. Again, eh? Thought you could outsmart me last time. Well, I've got news for you. My little smarty pants. <laughs> this week, my puzzles are invincible, unsolvable, unbreakable, uncrackable, impossible. In short, you can't do them, my friends! <laughs> Hi, we're back again, honeysuckles! It's time to put up your legs and put on your thinking caps for some fun and games! That's right! Fun's the name of the game, and this week's Puzzlesaurus has got some real challenges. That's what old Puzzlesaurus thinks. I don't think he'll challenge our friends too much. Yes, Bibi, but everybody needs a challenge that he can give. Yes, but I think our friends are too clever for him. Puzzlesaurus works hard to perfect his puzzles. What would we do without find the missing piece? Who's the artist? What is it? Sports rules. It's impossible. Traffic signs. Spot the differences. It's all thanks to Puzzlesaurus. Well, let's see what he's done for us this week. Yes, my pedals. Let's start. I can't see anything to collect on this planet. Hurry up, Duke. There's lots of work to do. Let's start right now. How will we know how to find these racks? We'll never find 33 kinds. How am I gonna know which rack is which? Ah, uh, it's too much work. Uh, look, Duduk, you just have to find three kinds. Take what you find, okay? I'll look for the other 30 That kinds. isn't very much. It's probably too much for your brain. Let's just hope the rocks you find aren't the wrong you ones. You just wait, Shatterpads. There won't be any problems. I'll make you ashamed. If only you could. If you find as much as one rock, I'll be surprised. Just before we do, let's solve Tommy and BB's... Puzzles. You always say that, but you never know the answers to them. Oh, well, okay. After the puzzles, we'll go. Agreed? Uh, agreed, agreed. Shh, let's watch. But there's no Tommy and BB on the screen. Uh, that's okay. It will come in a moment. Oh, of course. I forgot. Sometimes you have to wait. I don't understand it. How are they going to ask the questions? Why is there no picture? Calm down, Duduk. Just leave it and it'll be okay. What is it, I wonder? Only Puzzlesaurus knows what it was before he cut it into pieces. Can you put the pieces together in your mind and guess what the picture is of, honey bunnies? What was it? My teeth is a sign of my profession. That's why I take good care of them. I brush my teeth three times a day. Orange juice is both tasty and healthy. I recommend orange juice. I recommend orange juice. If you want to play the game, you have to know the rules. 
But you've also got to have talent like me. Sports dinosaurs like me train hard to perfect their talent. Mine's puzzles, although I do fancy myself as a bit of a tennis champion. Next year I'll enter Wimbledon, I think. program our sport question is about skiing. Skiing is a popular winter sport in which a person glides over the snow on a pair of long narrow flat skis. Ski races where one piece outfits made of spandex and these give little wind resistance. Millions of people throughout the world ski for recreation or competition. Some racers compete for prize money in professional ski circuits. Do you know the two main types of skiing? Each tooth on a saw plate is a, like a tiny sharp axe. When you make a saw, go back and forge across what you're cutting. The sharpest saws have teeth made of diamonds, but don't give a saw to your mother as a birthday present. <coughs> Coming, mommy! Dr. McCool, McCool, McCool? I really hate him. All I ever hear about is Dr. McCool. Why doesn't anybody ever talk about how great I am for once? Is his name Dr. McPuzzle? No. So what's the big deal? Welcome to Tongo's Joke Department, boys and girls. Here's today's joke. You are forced to tell a joke every day. Try to be quiet today. Is that a bird singing or does it only seem that way to me? Whatever, this rabbit went to the chemist and asked for a carrot. A carrot? Why was he going to the chemist for a carrot? That's the whole point of the joke, as a matter of fact. Would you be patient? How funny! The adventures of a stupid rabbit at the chemist! The chemist said, This is a chemist! You can't find carrots here! And the rabbit left! I'm sure that the following day he'll come back! The following day he returned! At least change the joke! Again he asked, Do you have any carrots? The chemist gave the same answer, This is a chemist, you can't get carrots here! Ah, didn't he understand it was the same rabbit? He did, why? He gave the same answer without thinking! The day after, the rabbit came again and asked, Do you have any carrots? The chemist got angry and beat the rabbit up. Ugh. Ugh. Is he stronger? Well, the man was angry. If he had been in his place, what would you have done? I would have used my head and bought a kilo of carrots. Every day I would have sold one carrot at twice the price. But the chemist didn't do that. He hit the rabbit hard. The rabbit left, but the next day he came again and said... Ah, uh, uh, here comes the punchline. The funny part of repetitive jokes always last. Yes, but you ruined the joke by underlining the end. Say it. We'll still laugh. Okay. The rabbit went to the chemist and said, Holly, have you got any carrot goof? Where is teeth broken? <laughs> What have you got to do? Some rocks? No, I still can find any. You were right. Don't be hard on yourself. I'm not right about you. What do you mean by that? There aren't any rocks on this planet. You mean the computer made a mistake? I'm afraid so. Our data on this planet is incorrect. Didn't I say so? Don't trust stupid machines. Don't forget, we're machines too. But we're not stupid. What could the problem be? You ought to apologize about this situation. That's not important right now. Forget it. You should be sorry that you asked me to find rocks when they weren't any. It's not fair. I don't like being made a fool of. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. Shall we try another planet then? No, I think we should watch Tom again, BB. <laughs> Okay, Pollen Pals, it's that time of the show. We have an art exhibition. Remember, there's five pictures. This week, we have two from Chagall and two from Constable. But the question is, who painted the fifth painting? You have to decide who it was. So look carefully at the first four paintings and how different they are. Then you can judge which artist painted the fifth picture. Okay, let's have a look. This is by Chagall. This is by Chagall too. This is by Constable. 
This is by Constable too. Here's the fifth picture now. The first two pictures were by Chagall, the second two by Constable. Which artist painted the fifth? Don't throw your club thing on the floor. If you don't want to look like this penguin. Get the data? Yeah. Are there rocks there? The computer scanned the whole planet, but there aren't any. Maybe it's still defective and can't see into space. You're right. We went to the planet because it said there were rocks there. Then it said there aren't any rocks there. That's silly. But perhaps we'll miss out on a very important specimen. Luckily, you have no stomach. Why? You have an ulcer. You're very funny. You're very boring. What do we do? Forget about the rocks. Let's watch Tom This is our job. If you want to go, I have to go. I'm staying here. I'm going. Ha, your decision. I'm a bit scared. Save Robbie. He won't save me. I'll save you. Oh, yeah. You're so strong. In that case, I'll come with you. Are you collecting rocks? Are you happy about that? OK, friends. We've got that turning cube coming up now. Each face of the cube has a picture. So there's six pictures altogether. As the cube turns, watch carefully. Because when it stops, we want you to choose which picture is behind the one facing you. Let's go! What a lovely picture. I wonder what could be behind that. Let's remind you of what the other pictures were first. BB will remind us what was there. What were they? OK. Besides Aladdin's lamp, there's a vase, telephone, ruler, whale, dolphin. I wonder what's behind Aladdin's lamps, kids. <laughs> Instead of celebrating their real birthdays, all people in the country of Bhutan become a year older on New Year's Day. It's a practical idea, isn't it? Hope you've been watching the road, Pollen Pals. Because there's lots of signs out there to look out for. See if you can decide what that sign meant from Puzzlesaurus's tricky choices. You little rats can't know the traffic signs, but you're lucky. You have a friend. Puzzleosaurus. Here are three choices. One, drive fast downhill. Two, park on the triangle. Three, dangerous incline. Could you find it? How observant are you, Petals? In this segment, we'll find out. We'll show you a short film. Then we will show it to you again, honey bunnies. But it'll be a little different. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? But now comes the hard part. How is this second film different? Did you find them? Did you strain your brains looking at those films? I bet you thought they were both the same. Well, you don't relax too much, because now you've got to go and find the missing piece. You'll be really bamboozled after all this thinking. You'll never find the piece. <laughs> Now it's time for a bit of detective work, Honey Pies. That's right. You have to find the missing piece to the puzzle. To help you, we'll show you four pieces to choose from. How can you complete the picture, Pollen Pals? Let's go! Only one of these four pieces.
faces is the right one. Which one? Impossible question. How high can you climb, Bibi? I prefer to fly. The fireman can climb very high. They climbed high against the sky. My legs would be shaking desperately if I did a thing like that. The firefighters have to practice hard. Can you guess how high they climb? It's more than a hundred meters. The computer was right. Now we know. Since there aren't any rocks around here, why did it send us? Is it playing a joke? I think so. So do I. Shame. It's forbidden. Let's inform the control center. Not everything. Yes. Quiet now. It's okay. I won't be quiet. We missed the puzzles because of this. I want to resign. You really want to? Yes. Are you sure? Are you staying? Where could I go? Uh... I'm very talented. I'm a talented puzzle maker. I'm also a fantastic musician. I sing, I dance, I play piano, and entertain everybody. In fact, I can do everything. But why, oh why, do they have to put those buggies on? I could sing a few songs about my favorite puzzles. Why not, eh? That would make you sit up and think, wouldn't it? I could do everything. <laughs> Honey buns, later we'll show you the answers. But later, before this, direct from the world of insects shooting to the top of the charts, is our favorite band, the Buggies, with their next hit, Gata Gata. <sighs> Bugs like you like Buggies like this. Sun. Got to know when to stay mild Got to know when to shine up in the sky Got to know when to run wild Got to keep what you got to deep in your heart Got to get sun from your dreams Got to keep when you can no matter what Got to give to whoever needs Got to give it, got to take it, got to leave it, got to make it, got to save it, got to Shake it, cut the break it, cut the love it, cut the tell it, cut the roll it, cut the bend it. Hi, hi, hi. Got to send it, cut the mend it, cut the buy it, cut the rent it, cut the watch it, cut the pen it. Hi, hi, hi. Got to do this, cut to do the, cut the stuff, the stuff, the stuff, the got to, got to once again. Got to know when you can pull down the stars. Got to know when you can try. Got to know when you can fall down the sky. Shift it, got to punch it, got to crunch it, got to squeeze it, got to seize it, got to steal it, got to lose it, got to get to once again. Got to know when you can sail on the clouds, got to know when you can dive, got to know what you know, it's only yours.
when you get it. One of them is downhill or alpine skiing, and the other one is cross-country or Nordic skiing. Alpine skiing includes downhill and slalom racing. Nordic skiing includes cross-country and ski jumping. Alpine skiing comes from the Alps. Nordic skiing comes from Northern Europe. We went to an art exhibition where we had to think about some paintings. We wanted you to know that the fifth painting was painted by Chagall. Or Constable. Here's the pictures by Chagall. And here are the pictures by Constable. Could you decide who painted this picture? Easy, it was by Chagall, wasn't it? Marc Chagall was a Russian painter. He lived between 1889 and 1985. He became known for his imaginative, dreamlike paintings of Russian life and folklore. Chagall studied painting in St. Petersburg and in Paris. He influenced the Surrealists, but he remained independent of any group. In 1973, the French government opened a museum of his works in Nice. Here is the answer of the cube challenge. You have to guess which picture was behind the Aladdin lamp. Was it a telephone, a ruler, a vase, a whale, or a dolphin? The correct answer was the vase. If you are aware of your traffic signs, it makes the road a safer place to travel on. Did you get the one we showed you? If you like, Puzzlosaurus will show you the other choices again. OK, Puzzlosaurus. Here are the choices. One, drive fast downhill. Two, park on the triangle. Three, dangerous incline. The correct answer was dangerous incline. One of our questions we had for you was about the two films. Could you see the three differences? Let's have a look. Second one. And here are the differences. Okay, friends, one of our puzzles was for you to find the piece that was missing. You have to choose the correct one from four pieces on screen. Yes, the first one was the correct piece. A team of 10 firefighters from Royal Berkshire Fire and Rescue Service climbed a vertical height of... vertical height of 47.58 miles up. A standard fire. Service ladder in 24 hours. Chatterbutt, I've changed my mind about designing. Good, I'm glad about that. I'll miss everything. If you stay here alone, how will you enjoy yourself? You'll go crazy, won't you? We're good friends, aren't we? Not that good. I want to resign myself. In the meantime, I'm not going out onto this empty planet. We can enjoy ourselves all day. No one's going out, Duduk. The computer shows that it would be no use landing on this planet. Sometimes true, sometimes false. You've been watching too much, Tom Bick and Bibi. Your life is just one puzzle after another. There's no place for that around here. If you talk like that, it will be like that. The computer said that we should go out. Don't forget, he's more powerful than you and he can't move. That little detail doesn't make you better than him. But that little detail is important. I'm able to repair the facts. The computer just says what the situation is. Okay, let's continue our journey to do. Attend to your duties. There's millions of space rocks to collect. We've passed one more puzzle show. You kids are really clever. Puzzlesaurus has too much work to do to beat you. Honey bunnies. Don't forget, a life without puzzles is like a bee without honey. Have a honey sweet bay. Honey sweet. <laughs>